All right, I'm going to do, I guess, the second section of this just to get out of the way. Um, left off on the um, five stages of grief. Not medical advice. Do not attempt all the gear all the time. Whatever. It's, it's my experience. But I remember and, um, when I was in school and somebody had talked about it. It was glossed over. Five stages of grief. Anger, bargaining, acceptance, denial, depression. Um, it might go on a seven. Probably don't need that. I don't know why this... It wasn't really touched much. And I don't know why it popped in my head. But um, anything trauma-related, it's going to fall into that. I'm obviously not a doctor. But um, I don't know why any of this stuff is never seemingly addressed. And whatever... Just going to counseling or whatever. It just doesn't seem to be the, be the case. Um, what I did, I wrote down everything's bothering me. Like writing a, a novel to myself on the phone. And I kind of examined that. It didn't take... Like, I didn't even have to finish it. I, I knew what was what. I broke everything up into different segments that were pretty defined, you know, in my mind. And try to put those in specific segments. Like, if they, it was at the depression phase or, you know, acceptance. You know, and try your best in any way I could, I guess. I'm not going to say you because this is me. And you just push them down in the acceptance just to get rid of it file it away but um like some of these are not going to fit specific categories but they will there's article there's articles out there it'll give examples of, of what's what um and just <clears throat> do the same with those you know just, just move them where they need to be um there's a lot of things i didn't have like i didn't have there's no reasoning, like, there's no reason given, there's no reason answer ever to why these things happen. If something like that happens, you're just going to have to come up with the most likely scenario. Let's get it around about right, probably the, the worst case is fine. Uh, that's what I, I came to the absolute worst case scenario. It was terrible, absolutely terrible, like, unimaginable. Come to find out, it's very much worse, but that was it. I'm not going to dwell on it. Back in a freaking acceptance, you go, off you go, no more nightmares. Moving on to, I don't know if I was going to cover this one. It's a touchy one. I definitely didn't do this. Um, we'll do another video, but if you have clarity, like even maybe not absolute, but you know, pretty much, you know, you know what you're dealing with. It's so freeing, and it's going to free up lots of things for you to work on other more probably more mundane problems you know um you know, where i got to i wasn't able to like the things just pop in your mind like oh i could fix this with this it's the easy stuff you know you probably you might be shot at this point so having said that i think it's time for vacation there's nothing pressing here. there's nothing really holding me here it's absolute <laughs> pretty much all bullshit so hopefully yeah, i'm gonna um I don't know where I'm gonna go. I can go anywhere. Complete freedom. Lived through shit I shouldn't have lived through. Keys, Mexico, North Carolina, to Maggie Valley and see if friggin' Rich Life of Road Trips is up there. I don't know. I just drive. But this, um, I wanna talk, I'll probably talk about this later. I don't know if anyone caught this. It doesn't matter, but it is a miracle a lot of this stuff is still like the, the, these things that you think control society everyone knows governments obviously way out of whack but there's nobody at the wheel there's this things are running on like dreams and magical thought process or something it's it's a miracle um i cannot believe freaking competence and people that absolutely should be doing their jobs are making huge mistakes and if they admit them they're in a lot of trouble so it's just a way to freaking fix that is to not admit them and hope things go away and nobody's going to check on certain things so I'm not going to get too deep like I said but um god forbid I got stuck seemingly like some endless feedback loop 
you're going to have to be your own advocate sometimes. You're going to have to be your own lawyer, your own mechanic, whatever it is. It, it, I don't know. It's, it's put a lot of miles on me, that's for sure. But um, I'm going to leave it, leave it at that. And probably going to forget about the other thing. But it's a miracle, an absolute miracle. I'm not going to share it. Goodbye.